I think it would be interesting. I have an idea. I want to see if I want to see if one of these models can solve a problem from this book here. I have done, and I know what the answer. I mean, they give you the answer, but I also did the work to sh to get to the answer, so I can sort of verify or not whether it's correct. Look at this beautiful algebra that I did to get the answer. In the length of the rope. Yeah, it says here. Okay, so here we go. New problem for Foro. We'll give it to Foro, and then if it gets it wrong, we'll give it to Mini. I think this is how we'll do it. We'll just see if Foro can do it first. Oh no, that this is wrong. This is this is wrong. Where did it go wrong? Let me see the. Yeah, it's not taking into account like the extended mass distribution. It's like essentially, it's essentially thinking this thing is like a point mass, it seems like. Like you need to integrate over the length of the rope. This was incorrect. You did not take into account the extended mass distribution of the rope. Switch over to a new context window. We'll use many. So we're gonna go here. Oh, 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 well, that's disappointing. It's not treating it like a, like, this is not the right condition because it's not, it's assuming that the thing is a, is like a, is just like a point mass. It's not like an extended long rope. It's essentially, actually I have, I can never, it's like, this is essentially what you have to imagine. Like you have to imagine the earth like this and the green screen is messing it up, but like, it's like this thing that's rotating with the earth kind of like this over the equator and it's not it's not taking into account the extended mass distribution of this of this rope it's thinking it's just like a point or orbiting like that but it's not so you assumed you incorrectly assumed that you could treat the rope as a point mass but it is an but is actually extended mass distribution. Take this into consideration and and so, uh, attempt to solve the problem again. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 guys. Oh, <gasps> that looks really close hang on that it it did wait let's go back let's go to the top here so i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm getting negative 3r plus or minus 9r squared minus 8r squared minus let's see, let's see here ah oh that looked really close but i i think it didn't quite get it Wait, what, what is it missing here? No, so I mean, you got this value. That's not correct. You got a negative number. No, that's not correct. You got the wrong value of L. Please recalculate your answer. Your value. I'll say this. Uh, you got the correct, the correct expression for L but you got the wrong value of L. Please recalculate your value. Or recalculate your value. No, please. No, please. No, please. Oh. Oh, ho. Oh. That is it. That is the right answer. Um, 1.5 times 10 to the 8. I'll take 1.44. 1. The book says 1.5. We'll take 1.44 is close enough. Hey, if you made it this far, just want to say thank you for watching. I'm still doing my best to get through the rest of my streams and create more concise clips like this to make it easier to parse through and watch. Just a reminder that I've also started sharing my conversations with these LLMs on this Notion page. It's going to be in the description below. I've also linked this particular conversation I had with O1 Mini. And so uh, just follow that document if you want to see sort of a summary of all the conversations I've had. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for future stuff.